Hi, my name is Mark Gatter from tunnelvisionltd.co.uk and thank you for checking out these videos on Adobe InDesign CC, the best layout program ever. If you like the video, then please do check out my website, tunnelvisionltd.co.uk or .com. And on the homepage, you'll find a link to the complete course list, either on Udemy or Skillshare. I, of course, invite you to sign up. And if you like the course, please tell me. And if you've got a question, please contact me and tell me. I will respond. If you've got an idea about something else that you'd like to see a video about, and you tell me and I make a video, I will send you a free coupon to my videos on Udemy or Skillshare. So please check it out. What have you got to lose? There are a few very cool ways in which Adobe will help you to not have to recreate the wheel and do all the work again. So if I go to File New Document, the first one that you're likely to encounter is when you can save a preset. So when you set up your document, you click on that, and you enter a name, and once you say Save Preset, it's listed under the Saved tab up here. How about if I've gone further than that, I've created my page. If I've got corporate colors or paragraph styles that I want to include in every document I create so that they're ready for me, I can create them now and put them in a library. So I'll go to Swatches, and I don't have orange, so I'm going to create an orange. Options button, new color swatch, drag black back to zero, turn yellow full on, and give it some magenta. There's orange. OK. Now that particular orange doesn't live in any other document right now. If I get the rectangle tool, and I've already got orange set up as the fill color, and draw a shape, there it is. OK. Now I can go File, New, Library. And you tell it where you want to save it, and you give it a name, and then you click Save. And there's my library window, and it's empty. But if I drag this object into it, there it is. It's untitled right now. I could double-click on that. I could give it a title. I could give it a long description if I wanted. InDesign's usually got a fair idea of what kind of object it is. And then I'll click OK. And I'm going to leave the library window open, but I'm going to close this document. So I no longer have that document open. And in this one that was ready and waiting, I don't have that orange color. But if I drag this out of the library onto the page and then immediately delete it, I've already got the color in my swatches window. The same would apply to paragraph styles, character styles, object styles, where I could have specified things like text wraps and drop shadows and things like that. So it's a very, very useful way of not having to do all the work again. If you have no documents open and you go to the Swatches window and you create a new swatch, there it is. And now you make a new document. Command N, Control N, and one page, portrait, facing pages, that's fine. I don't really care in this case. Create. There's my swatch already here. And that swatch will be there for every new document I create. So if you've got corporate colors and you want to have them available to you all the time, you don't need to put them in a library. You can put them straight into your swatches window. The same is true of paragraph styles and character styles and object styles as well. And here's another cool tip. If you've got a document that does contain swatches or paragraph styles or whatever that you'd like to include into the current document, you can click on the Options button and then go to Load Swatches and then navigate to the document that they're in and you can load all the colors, paragraph styles and so on from that document just by doing this. So Adobe really try to help you not have to do all the work again. Now this method of adding all the colors to swatches and paragraph styles and so on doesn't work so well for me because as a freelancer I've got lots of different clients so I've got a library for each of them. If I put all of their swatches into the swatches window that would be really confusing so I have to keep them more separate. But if you're working for a company and they have corporate colors that you need to use this is the best way to do it. So thanks again for stopping by, and I hope that video was really helpful to you. And please do check out my website, 
www.tunnelvisionltd.co.uk and let me know what you thought. Bye for now.